Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today is day 93, season 3 of the video. Starting off down here, we have the uh, Defender and the Cattle Trailer part up. The Yale Scraper there. Keenan put back in the shed. Uh, she will be having to be brought out and probably put in the cow shed for now. Uh, as we need to start prepping the sheds. Because um, in, I think, two weeks or a week, uh, the animals are coming in. Um, so she'll have to be moved. Uh, gator, sheet trailer, uh, tail of bucket, oil tank, Thomason's Golf, it's 612, a couple of chickens knocking there. I think they're sort of hiding behind the trailer from uh, the wind. Then we have Matt here uh, filling up the 7740. Um, now we've never really had it hooked up, um, like the nozzle and that. We've actually hooked it up recently because um, we did have one and we just didn't know where it was so um, we ended up finding it and um, so now we need to use a proper novel um, whereas before we were just filling a drum and then putting the funnel in and then you know using the funnel as a sort of <laughs> make sure it doesn't spill all over the bannock kind of thing um, but now we've got a nozzle we can do it properly um, so it's just filling her up there uh, ready for whenever she needs to be used again uh, Honda Quad, part up, will be used soon. Uh, mower, uh, rake, baler, bear wrapper, and mini baler will be sit sitting in the shed for a while now. Um, so these have all uh, been uh, checked over, so obviously uh, nothing really to do with them now uh, until May next year. Uh, so probably in six months now. Um, although I wish I could just, you know click my fingers and go back to summer but hey ho uh, hopefully next year's uh, summer will be a lot better weather and not uh, sort of sun and rain and rain and sun and wind and sun it was very random uh, this year so hopefully it's not uh, next year then here we have uh, the main man himself the fire in the disco with the uh, flatbed high flames uh, trailer on the back. He's got the three gates uh, Well one f big gate and obviously the two small little hurdle things uh, and Then we've got the, the uh, farmer's son in the 3400 Tayana And he's just uh, unloading that there. So This is uh, obviously for the cows uh, to keep them in uh, as the sheep don't really need it because they've got uh, two gates on either side and obviously wouldn't be enough space for all of them, there's barely enough space for the sheep, let alone the cows and the sheep. So, yeah, so uh, he's just uh, unloading them there, gonna put them next to the shed, um, and obviously once they're ready to be used, uh, we'll use them. So, we're sort of just preparing um, to sort of have the gates here, obviously the animals aren't in yet, but we thought if we get the gates here, if we need to bring them in early or something, um, at least it's already set up, and we have the gates here because um, technically we can just have it set up whenever as long as it's set up for when the cows need to come in which is I think I think it's late no late November early December he's planning on um, so soon anyway uh, within a week just over a week I think all the three tractors uh, parked up the three biggest on the farm uh, 6616 will be used a lot in the winter, obviously to feed the animals. So it'll be here in the telehandler. Um, obviously the telehandler will probably be uh, probably be the main one, um, and obviously 7740 would be on the uh, feeder. So she'll be sat outside the pit, loaded up by the 5400, and then. What we'll do for the cows is we'll probably use 6616 with the muck grab and dump a bit of silage in there because obviously they haven't got a feeder barrier and it'd be quite tight to sort of feed them because uh, you'd have to reverse it into the shed and then go around um, and obviously it's a weird shape um, that we sort of made the gravel it's just so they can have a bit of outside space um, although it's not much um, but they tend to stay in the back of the shed anyway uh, Trail Forager, Spearhead, and the uh, Furt Bags and Furt Spinner. 
So I'm hoping next year we can get a couple of clips, or actually hopefully film a video when they're actually doing Surge instead of uh, sort of, sort of aftermath. So hopefully we can see the uh, two new Hollands in action. And uh, then we've got the other chickens knocking around there. And uh, Matt's Land Rover powered up, herb stump trailer, and the bale trailer in the shed. Uh, Buck Creek's been put back there close to the pit because, I mean, not really used. Um, it's only really used in the summer and that's for the pit and it doesn't need to be in the way of the sheep so we put it here. Uh, double bay lifter there, uh, cane classic size trailer, uh, pit size, the bales there and the JCB mini diggers parked up so the uh, pile of gravel's gone so that's gone to the job so she's just sort of parked up there for now um, until she needs to be moved or used. Then in the sheep field, as you can see here, we've got a ewe here, just uh, sort of protected by the wind. We've got a couple of the sheep there and the ram using the hedge as a sort of, I don't know, wind blocker, I suppose. And we've got the other ewes enjoying themselves, the ducks still in the field. Uh, you've got the sage there. They started eating a bit of it, uh, obviously. They uh, try and sort of bring the pit down a bit before uh, we end up with uh, extra bales because uh, we want to get rid of the sides because we prefer to feed them bales so uh, we might have to get a couple in at the end of the year but it'll uh, be fine. Um, we'll have to see when it, lamb comes and got the like bucket there. Then in the cow field and we've got all the cows knocking about. Uh, feed, uh, not feed, the uh, liquor bucket's been moved there and the feed tray has been uh, put here with the uh, silage. So as you can see it's it was directly in front of the gate um, but they've moved it to the side a bit so when you open the gate it's not going to hit the trailer. Um, and you've got a couple of cows there eating the grass out of it. Uh, these eat it like, a, like there's no tomorrow, um, a lot quicker than the sheep and there's more sheep. Um, but yeah these uh, do like their silage so I uh, suppose Good thing they're not fussy, I suppose. So yeah, a bit busy on the farm today. Then up here, uh, the field's coming along well um, after the muck been spread on it. And obviously we uh, will be doing silage in this field next year. Uh, maybe not bales. Uh, the farmer's waiting till uh, New Year to sort of figure it out what he wants to do uh, in terms of silage and bales next year whether he wants to change it up or not so yeah we'll have to see how that uh, goes but this one would definitely be uh, the first cut off this field will be silage and this is our normal size field anyway so yeah we do have uh, a couple of sheep that uh, the farmer's been thinking either to bring them to the farm or to bring them here um, but we don't want to mix them with our flock as uh, the uh, our flock and our flock at the uh, other farm, uh, we don't tend, don't tend to mix them, um, just because obviously the ram. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a sort of, I don't know, it's a bit of an inconvenience really, because obviously the, the ram's in, um, and obviously we don't want them getting uh, doubly preg uh, pregnant, um, although it wouldn't really matter. It's just, uh, obviously, we have two separate rams, so uh, we'd like to give them uh, the use um, to have the same uh, sort of mix of uh, lamb between the two breeds. And then, going down the lane here, roaring down the lane, uh, we have the farmer in his T7060 with uh, his uh, cane triple axle low loader. Uh, there's a couple of ram around here. There's more triple axles than there is uh, double axles. Um, I think the farmer's after a double axle or something. Um, and he's just got a digger on the back there and he's just moving that uh, back to... I think it's his mates. So uh, I think he's taking it to his farm and then his mate's going to collect it. Um, but he asked the farmer here to collect it so we can... Uh, basically he needed to get it off the site and his mate was busy so he asked uh, the farmer here if he could get it off the site. Um, so obviously the site needed it out of the way um, so yeah so she's just being moved there 
Um, now, <laughs> it's a bit of a long low loader, um, and as it turns out this junction here, um, it's going to take quite some turning because it's actually quite tight uh, with the banks either side. Um, hopefully the digger doesn't hit any uh, trees or branches, preferably to not damage the digger. Because obviously it's going to be quite a wide turn with this uh, long loader. But I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So yeah, that's it for the guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And